Taco Nation, welcome back to the Shirts and Skins podcast. This is episode 11. Yeah, we good? I think so. What was last week's? Uh, we we two weeks ago. We took a bye yes. week. Took a bye like week. Two weeks. Team. Yep. Yeah. So we haven't been here for a week, but we're still here. We didn't go anywhere. I'm sure a lot of you thought, <laughs> "Where are these guys?" But we are back, bringing it to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for listening. Um, if you're checking us out on YouTube, which a lot of you do, we appreciate it. Uh, subscribe. We've got we pick up new subscribers every week. Like nice. it. Nice. Like it. Comment. Subscribe. Yep. Uh, we've also got some uh, listeners over on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Appreciate that. Um. We are here, episode 11, like I said. We're here in the United Commercial Insurance Studios. We got plants. <laughs> plants. How do you feel about the nice plants, touch. Brandon? I like them, man. This is just a small sampling of what we have There's out. like 50 plants in this yeah, place, at least. this is small sampling. Brandon and, likes his plants. And these are all it's legal, good. right? Hmm? Okay. Dang. Locally grown? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Locally placed. Uh, we are coming off a win over Wyoming, 32 to 7. So Friend. we got some stuff to talk about. Friend of the show? Friend of the show. He was skeptical, but it seemed to, it worked out for him. Friend of the show, original friend of the, the show. The original, okay. the OG. You he know. chimed in? He chimed in. You know, he kind of said, I just had it up here. He said, I was afraid the score would be exactly the opposite. He's been burned this year. You can yeah, tell. He's been burned. Sh- <laughs> I, I called you know? the loss. Uh, you did call lose. the loss. Yeah, that's interesting. Brian and Matt both. Hot, he said, glad the Broncos found some backbone and respect. They had been missing both. Whoa. Hot take. Whoa. Hot back, take from, back from Hot tough. Houston. Yep. So, friend of the show chimed in. Well, let's and, talk about uh, Hot Punishment. Yeah. I think we should. So, I think we haven't had one. I think we should. I think... At some point, you Matt should take <laughs> off his shirt. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay. at some point, somebody has to be a Skins just, member. Just a little heads up. We went to a trunk or treat tonight before this. Tonight. Before we recorded this. We were the greatest showman. Guess who I was? Uh, the greatest showman. The little, no. the little fat one? No. The one on the horse. Okay. No. I, what? Be- bearded lady. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm standing around in the cold. Showing some cleavage. Yeah, with the dress. <laughs> with a dr- yeah. Should have came with it. <laughs> that would have been a good hope. That's on you, that yeah. Been. I'm just saying it, it's not, me. it's just, it holds very little if we don't do anything. We got to figure that out. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> maybe, I'll take I my, thought, maybe I'll take my shirt off. I think you should. <laughs> Stay tuned if you're watching. Okay. All right. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if we don't get banned. If you think it's good now. It's just gonna get. Better. We all thought mm-hmm. you you were in the best position going into this game, yeah. Because Mark and I had picked BSU to win, and then yeah. we even laughed at you at one point. Laughed, and, yeah. Out, I, and we I all pitched giggling. <laughs> <laughs> and you were in the best position to have us do take some sort of punishment. Yeah, but anyway, Wyoming proved to be who Wyoming good game. has been fifteen of the last sixteen years. Yeah, it was a good it's game. Not great. Good game for us. What what were your what was your take? Do you have any? Um. Did you, you know, watch? You watched all. Uh, I, I ended up so I was out of town, um, but I did watch it. I got I got to watch it that night. Um, you know, my my biggest takeaway was after the debacle, and we uh, we don't need to rehash that. But after what happened in Colorado State two weeks ago, you know, I mean, they didn't really have any other choice but to go forward. You know, but I think a lot of huh? teams grow forward. What? Do you grow say gro- forward? Grow forward? Did Why, I say grow forward? What, what do you mean they didn't have any other choice? Well, so like, I mean, they could have lost that they, game. They, <laughs> What was that? They could have they lost could've. that game. No, that I mean, a- I mean, I. So what stuck out to me was that they had two weeks off and they came out and played the best game that they played. So what that tells me is that they, you know, they they bonded together as a team. They they, you know, whatever they whatever those two weeks were, worked out great, right? I mean, they didn't fracture. Is what I'm getting at. They didn't quit. They didn't question the coaching because we've you know a lot of that out there and they obviously bought in and and they played that was by far their best complete game both probably both sides of the ball and so that told me you know is that tell you Babylo is a great coach any of that stuff no but what it tells me is that the team is bought into what they're doing and they came out and they played a great game which can be said Wyoming you got to remember Wyoming was in the exact same 
situation. Two and one, knowing if they lose that game, they're not going to be in the championship game, most Com- likely. Coming off a bye week. Coming off the, the same bye week. Oh, and they Wyoming laid an egg. Was? Yeah. yeah. Oof. And they laid an egg. So I was impressed with the that they came out and they obviously took took to the coaching. There wasn't any signs that they that they had quit on the season or on their coaches, and they played their best game of the year. Dude, if you're Craig Bull, how bummed are you? I saw a couple of his quotes. He was bummed. Yeah. What? What were, he was what just were... like, he didn't see it coming. He's like, they were ready for the game. We weren't ready for the game. I don't know why. Yeah, why? Um, I don't know. They looked I, so hard, man. College football is so hard. They almost beat Texas. It was 10 to 10 yeah. going into the fourth quarter. Yeah. They beat Texas <laughs> At Tech. At Texas. They beat Fresno. And that they looked they, bad. Yeah. And Tex, they beat Texas Tech. They right? beat Texas yeah. Tech. Well, they had a hundred yards going into like two minutes of the fourth they, quarter. I don't understand like how you lay an egg like that, but we, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know anything about Wyoming, but you, we you, didn't. You we did not think lay. If an you're egg. Wyoming, this is our perfect chance because they've, they've never, never beat us on the blue. On the blue, they this, beat us once in right. Wyoming. And you got to think their hopes are high. We're going to do it. You know, and maybe sometimes that's it. I read a quote from their quarterback, Peasley, who did not play well. No. And he kind of said something to the effect like, man, it just sucks when you want to win a game so bad that it just doesn't happen. And it's like you wonder if they were just almost wanted it too much. You know what Andrew I mean? Andrew Peasley, just, 10 for 20 for 85 yeah, yards. Ooh. He didn't look good. And he kind of got he got pulled there. He was ineffective. So... I was impressed, um, I, you know, for that game. For those three and a half hours, it was an imp- it, it, the defense looked like a Boise State defense. Better. Right? I mean, they were great. Brandon, I want to know your thoughts specifically on – you're a big fan of Bush Hamden. Yeah, I like Bush right? Hamden. So we're averaging 30 points a game. First time since – Finally, 30.0. Yeah, 30.0. <laughs> your thoughts on the whole tail and starts – and Maddox yeah, comes in. Yeah, I don't. Uh, let's see. Because you're I, the fan of the two dual quarterbacks. I still yeah. like it. I still like still. it. Still, still like it. Did you hear? Uh, today was the presser. Prater asked Avalos why Green is still starting. I saw on Twitter, and he and said because he's earned the right. Yeah, I, it's mixed signals for sure. I don't get. I, I didn't get it because I actually thought Taylor was doing pretty good. He lost that fumble and he made two two incompletions, but. But Matson made some incompletions. Taylor and had one. I, I believe. he was I three for six. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He was three for three six. For okay, six. but he had three. I thought he was doing well. And I mean, he hit yeah. that sideline. I mean, at this point, Taylor can throw the sideline, and he can throw the screen. He ha- he's not really proven to throw it over the middle, rolling out. But I mean, I thought it was preemptive to take him out. I don't know. I I I don't get it. I didn't get that. It's tough to know how good Talon is right now because he's not playing a big. I mean, the rest of the game, man, three for six. (laughs) Like, I'm with you. I watched it and I was like, they're going to, it was like, okay, they're, Talon, they went on the off week. They said, all right, Talon, you're going to be our guy. And I listened to the coaches that night and then Avalos and Hamden today. And I honestly felt like, so they let Talon play for at least three drives, I feel like, before Mad Dog even came in. Maybe came in for one play. He had that fumble, and then I think, and they reiterated that night and then again today, that fumble is what led to Mad Dog. If he doesn't sure. fumble that and mm-hmm. they score a touchdown, Mad Dog well, does not driving. come in. He was at the 15 yard line yeah. and maybe comes yeah, in at some why, point. Why, why not? Put I don't him know. Back in? That, that, so, well, here I'll tell you my thought is that. They pulled him because, and they talked about it. we need to protect the ball. We need to protect the ball, and so okay. And and yep. Hamden even today, did you hear the full interview? He even said like, "Yeah, it might have been a little emotional. We were driving, and we've had problems carrying the ball, you know, taking care of the ball, and so it's probably a little emotional on my part to get him out of there." Is he said that today? In, I, can, I can see right. But then. what happened exactly? But I think what happened was once Mad Dog came in. I mean, he ended up twelve for fifteen. So I don't think they planned on it going that way. And then Madsen comes in. And Madsen obviously played really well. And then they just stuck with him. And it's like, it's on such a fine line that I thought Taylor looked great. He has one fumble. And then Mad Dog is just playing well. I just think it was as simple as that. I really don't think that they plan on Madsen being the guy. I don't think it's any. I think well, he, he only got 20% of the practice. That's that's interesting. Yeah. 25% of yeah. the reps in practice. <laughs> he's the number and one. He comes out and plays he's like that. He's the number one rated Pastor in the Mount West right now. Um, yeah. Pastor rating or I don't know what goes in that statistic. His numbers aren't super high, but rating wise, he's playing really well. So I can see why the coaches are doing it because like Mad Dogs, 
I mean, think if he was getting eighty percent of the reps like a starter would. The thing that I, the thing <sighs> that worries me about Talon was he he only throws it to McAllister. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, on every play. Mm-hmm. And and Mad Dog throws it around. Like he'll throw it to different guys. He'll throw it to Cobbs. He'll throw it to whatever Strawn, Prince Strawn. I mean, he'll throw it, which is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, saw Bolt a couple times on the yeah, TV. Did he get a? Yeah, he didn't get a uh, target, or anything, but target. he was on there. Uh, okay. So so that that's what was odd to me. I I, st- I think our best offense is with Taylor Green and Mad Dog Matson, uh, both playing. I think our best offense because Taylor scored a running touchdown. Yeah. I mean, I, I think if you put Talon in, if you reverse it and, and Mad Dog starts, you put Talon in, they're not going to know what he's going to do, throw it or run it. I mean, I, I still think that's a great offense. I think the best offense it probably is the Rippin Cozart and Mad Dog is the Rippin, Talon's the Cozart, which is like a 90-10 split. What, what do you and, think it does with the team dynamic if Mad Dog comes see, out that's as the thing. starting and, quarterback? And you have to start if to question why are they why are they starting Taylor? It, mm-hmm. it, it it it. But it, if they score a lot of points, it doesn't. Matter. It doesn't, doesn't uh, matter. They're all happy. And if they win, for so that's the thing. It's like score a lot of points either way. Which it, they have. I think this this is fine as long as you win. As the minute we lose, if we lose to Fresno this week, and someone comes in. And throws a pick when oh if you would have just kept it just you're opening yourself up as a coach to a lot of criticism but I give I hand it to them that they there's no doubt in my mind that the coaches are doing what they feel is best to win the game because their their jobs really are on the line like Avalos is for sure yeah so I don't doubt that it it's just weird we're just not familiar with it it's just and you long term I don't think they're even thinking long term I think they're like we need to win we need to win this week and we'll worry about the transfer portal and all that stuff after the yeah. season. Which is I really the right or, way or to do after, it. Or after we're eliminated from the mount. Like if okay. we lose it, this it week. It doesn't do any good to worry about it now. It doesn't. So I think they're doing the right. It's just crazy. Like, But honestly, like if Talon is getting 75% of the practice reps, they didn't plan on Madsen playing 70% of the, the reps. So, But what <laughs> I don't think that Talon's played bad enough for him to get benched. That long. No, I just uh, uh, Matt Avalos good, stressed man. it twice in the presser. He was like, "You got to take care of the ball." Yeah, you he really did. Mm. And I think it's he a, sh- I think he it's kept... a short leash with Talon. It's like short. you've earned the right to be the guy, but when you start messing up, we're gonna pull you out. The problem yeah. with that fumble too is they returned it. They have a big oh, play, the and then they score. And they don't. Well, they score, oh, they score, score on, on the punt. They scored on the punt yes. on the muff punt. In that so, game, does so Wyoming score if we don't muff the punt? No. They if don't. we don't, if we don't fumble, yeah, and they get they it punt, score. yeah, they didn't score. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. the thing I liked, I saw a lot of new names. I'm seeing a lot of mm-hmm. new guys play, which I love. Virgin, dude, yeah. I was gonna talk about yeah. Virgin, man. Virgin. That guy is that he. he looks I think pissed. has a future. He has. A <laughs> we future. need that. He looks pissed, dude, and I dude. like that. Also, I have been critical of AA, Andy Avalos, Andy Avalos, on not showing any fire. Okay. I saw some fire on and the sideline. He was yelling at who? Who was he yelling he, at? He, we had like a, a sack for like 20 yards. Yeah. And then Simpson, I thought it was, number 10. I thought. Yeah. Simpson? Andrew Simpson. I thought he, he got a, a foul. Yeah, I thought he had a penalty. And he was laying into it. And I was just, I rewound that. And I watched it. Oh, and I was like, yes. Like, yeah. Oh, keep. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, Like, baby. show it. <laughs> Get pissed, dude. Like, I want to see. I don't know. I just like seeing that fire because... Just makes me it it, it satisfies he, a quench for me. That's when he yelled at him on the sideline. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it Simpson? I don't think. It was I don't Simpson. think we should throw it was Simpson under. Well, I don't anyway, think it, it was, was a Simpson. player. A player. It doesn't no, no, matter. No, it was uh, had, Clark for taunting. It was Clark. It was for taunting. Okay, yeah. he stood over. Dude, no, no, Oladipo. It was Oladipo. Okay, are you sure it was Oladipo? It was one of the DBs. A player. A player. And I liked that. I and 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 he'll never make me happy, right? Because as far as doing what I always want him to do. So just be yourself in my opinion. But that was, you know, I, I appreciated the fact that he's fiery right there because man, that would have been a big play. It was like a loss of 25 yards mm-hmm. and then they get a lot of it back anyway. So I like that. I like the new players. Matson, Why, why couldn't he be our future? That's the question. Cause I've, I mean, up till this week, it's always been like, man, Talon seems like he has the higher, higher ceiling. Like, that's, I think, been the narrative. And then you're like, well, wait a second. 
Madsen's kind of playing a lot like Grant Hedrick, and he's only a freshman. The thing that I worry about is when he runs it, when they're playing man. Do I like it when he runs I it? I know, but they, they always play man on him because they're like, he's going to throw it. Yeah. So he drops back, he sees them all take off, and he runs. And he runs for 10 yards. When it's your every day down, That's the question, and we just don't do know. It? We don't know. And he took a pretty good shot there um, when he, he was running. Yeah. They were playing man. and When you look at him in a picture... Madsen and Green, it's so it's different. Just, it is, but like I mean, production. I just, something. you know, it's, it's. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know if either one of them are. This I game, don't know. this game, bought back a lot of goodwill for me for a couple reasons. Sure, the defense was getting pressure, and Wyoming laid an egg and whatever. And I don't know if they're good yet. I don't know if Boise State's good. I don't know. I'm not. Well, we're eight games into the season. I don't. So well, I don't they think they're that. They are, yeah, they dude. are, but. They, I don't know if they're always going to play like this, if something's turned, or if this was just a one-off, whatever. But the defense played great. They weren't hitting long bombs on them. Yep. You know, they were covering really well. Yep. They were doing, like, Boise State defense. And then on offense, creative, going for two. For, love that. Doing a lot of wild stuff, which was awesome. Be explosive. Go. Like, the second play of the game, throw it deep to yeah. McAllister on the sideline. Like, go. Attack. It felt like Boise State of old. Yeah, I love that. For two. That was great. That was a great feeling. Being creative was awesome. And they did a lot of stuff different. And then Matson keeping the chains moving. It was, yeah. like, really awesome. And didn't create a lot of drama for us as fans. It's no. like, ho-hum, let's do it. Let's win and go on it with was, our it weekend. It was very much boring. But Love that's it. how a lot of games were, yeah. man. And Love I it. will take it because uh, every game is we haven't usually had that. a sign that things are going well when yeah. it's boring. Yeah. yeah. That, 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 I, I, I think Hamden is the uh, offensive assistant of the year. In, in the Mount city? West. In, in Boise. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, there's some good high school coaches. He's done a good job. Uh, he's done. Did a, you name uh, a better Mountain West no, offensive he's... coordinator right now of what he's had to deal with? I think he's done incredible. He's done a fun. Yeah. yeah. I think I Dirk and Hamden have done no complaints amazing. there. I, I just, I really think that. Yeah. yeah they've scored. We're really I think, happy. I think, you know, a lot of the issues have come from the defensive side of the ball, obviously. Bad. And, you know, we've scored enough points, but when you let your defense give up, a yeah. lot more points like Colorado State. So I look at Spencer Danielson and it's like, is it just that he didn't have the talent? And I think we've talked about that, but now guys have had more Maybe. time to play. Dude, imagine I mean, this. Benefield's been in there a ton now. Yeah. No, we've got man. guys that are racking up minutes. Imagine this. We win the mountain. <laughs> this, is Dude. this is dumb. This is dumb. I'm sorry. This is stupid. This is stupid. We're okay. If we win the mountain West, what's our record? Nine six and we six, nine and four, <laughs> and then a bowl game. We could be ten and four if you. Dude, this is so stop it, stop it, no. stop it. No, this I'm just marks. saying this is stupid. I'm okay. just saying this too. I said it. I imagine this. Let, let's say we have a good season, mm -hmm. and we can keep Bush Hamden for three years, because okay. we don't keep okay. coordinators very long, right? Let's say we keep them for three years so they can continue to build and say, okay, we need these pieces to be more explosive, and we become that offense again. Like we I don't could. know if we will ever become that offense with Avalos. I don't think. Okay, he well I'm wants, saying I who doesn't want to be explosive on offense, but do, do I don't know what he wants. Defensive minded coaches just have that ball control, play good defense. It's just like ingrained. Uh, I don't. In I don't them know what gave know you that experience. I mean, what gave you that impression? Just because he hired Tim Plow last year who ran an offense that threw it 70 plus percent of the time. He hired him to Boise State and told and from all accounts told him you got to run the ball and slow it down and you can't run your uh, offense. I don't know what happened with Plow. Well, that's know. what that's what people are I mean that's yeah. what BJ that's Plow was all, handcuffed. That, like that's what, and I'm not hey, thing. Plow was not good. It was just a bad fit. But he didn't hire Plow to say, "Hey, run your we want to we want to throw it 80%." He I think that I don't, I don't. I think Plow couldn't throw it because the personnel probably the personnel. He, like look Maybe. at I look at know. who we had at the start. We're, I mean, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I'm not, I think if we uh, keep a coordinator for a couple years, because we have not. Like look at Harson's last five years. Yeah, it's so tough. Or, for, or last four or three years. I mean, in the last four years in general, it's well, just been Hamden, atrocious. Is he? In, he was just. He was an offense coordinator at Missouri. Yeah, well, and he, he got one hundred fifty thousand dollar pay cut to he come got in. he got like bumped up. What do you I mean? think the, the I think the offensive coordinator got fired and Hamden got elevated mid season. There, yeah, 
But I think he okay. was in line to say, hey, I'm going to I'm well, going to be the All I know is he was an offense coordinator in Missouri his last year. Yeah. He took a $150,000 yeah. pay cut to come here. So it's not I it te- that tells me he's not like in a hurry to jump. Okay. I would love to keep a coordinator for 3 or 4 yeah. years badly if we can keep I don't know if Avalos is the guy, but man, if we can, I like these two off these coordinators. If we can figure it out around them and make a run and be explosive on offense, I don't think we'll be great until we're, you know, getting close to that 40 point average. Gotta Personal over, opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Personal opinion. Yeah. Okay. Because anyway, I just think we can but, recruit guys to be explosive. Yeah. I, I mean, it's this. Hey, I, I, I'm excited because I think we're rolling with a lot of young guys right now. Yeah. And they've shown that the longer they played, they're getting better. And you're learning names, like you said. There's new names out there all that, every week. Dude. Every yeah. week, there's a new name. But they're trying stuff. But with that, there's a new name doing a really good thing. Like Virgin, we didn't hear his name at the beginning of the season, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't hear it. Yeah. Um, Simpsons. I mean, he's been there, but he's he's, he's doing only good sophomore. Stuff. He's, yeah. It, I mean, you got the young guys in the secondary, and you look at it, and you're like, hey, if we keep them around and keep uh, improving, we're going to be really good. I, I think a lot of the coaching issues have been the talent that they've had to work with. Mm. I, I do. I think there are certain things mm. that they haven't been able to do, coverages that have got them in trouble because they haven't had the right talent out there. I think good coaching would have won a couple of those games. Yeah, I I don't. Th- they obviously yeah. didn't it's realize tough. how deficient they. Were. I, I and I think we said this. I don't think Danielson all of a sudden became a bad coordinator. No, the only difference was he lost three NFL guys and replaced them with some other guys that aren't right. And a, a, an amazing, a great coach would kind of maybe have recognized that. And I think he recognizes it now. I think it took him several games and. Because the reality is that we start out really bad at, at, at the first half with San Jose State, great second half San Jose State, and really 55 great minutes at Colorado State. We had five really bad minutes. Really bad. <laughs> and then a great the another game, this last game. So we've actually gone on more than two, outside of five minutes, it's been two and a half games of Boise State defense. Now you're starting to sound like Avalos. But it's true. We're six points away. It is true, Our though. Our goals are They played sight. fine. They only... They only gave up 10 points so to Colorado, State, Colorado State until they State, just totally crapped the if pants. If we win Colorado State, where are we at? We're in first place right now. And here's the tough thing. What if we beat UCF? But here's the thing. <laughs> UCF sucks. Too. Here's the, <laughs> not, yeah, but, they've lost, yeah, they've they're lost not the last great. five. But, here's the thing, and, I, and I'll say it right now. We are going to miss out on the Mountain West Championship by a game. And it'll okay. be the Colorado State. We're gonna lose either this week or to Air Force, Air Force. or pay attention. We're gonna lose. We're gonna miss out by one game, and it's gonna. And we're that or New loss. Mexico. You know, but man, if just you just not think, just so bad. If you think if we could uh, win out, we you could, could we build. Could. You we could build quite a bit off of that. And even if we don't, but we did that last year too. We won out. Yeah, but we, we didn't win the last. Then we game. lost. The last the that killed us, dude. For whatever reason, that like killed us. Like. Taylor Green has never been the same since that game against Fresno. He played poor against BYU too. Maybe dude, maybe he needs to exercise the demons this week. Exercise a Halloween thing? A Halloween thing at Fresno. <laughs> he comes back and he like gets his soul back <laughs> from what they took like from an him. Exorcism? Like Yeah, exorcism. Like, hey, I'm open to whatever. <laughs> I am. What do you think he would be? I think he's open to anything. <laughs> I don't know if Taylor life. listens to that. Can we just any- ask, can we ask one thing? Can we ask for Genty and Holani to be on the field at the same time? Oh, my time gosh. For a oh, game? They, when they get hurt, that's hard. Yeah, <laughs> that's what man. I'm saying. They can't do it. So <laughs> They can't you, do I it. Watched, so I actually watched the game after it was over, so I kind of knew. Oh, Genty was – so I was watching. It, 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 Genty had a brace underneath his sweats. Yeah, okay. they said right. he was a little dinged up before yeah. he went out. Yeah, so he had – there was a big brace. You could just tell. Now, is that going to keep him out this week? I don't know. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear that? They were saying like even before. Yeah, I saw. He heard that. Hurt, he that was dinged, and then he, he talked to him right. and said he wasn't feeling right, so something's going on. I don't know what that means. I didn't go back. It's and gonna look be at tough the, to get him. He didn't the ball really have 20. a hit that that took him out. You know, there's so. a hurdle. I don't know. Yeah, that, it's gonna be tough to give him the ball twenty times with Holani and everybody. You know what? If if heck, man, we went in the season. Holani was one A. Genty was one B, according you know, and it, Genty's man, just been you, so amazing, dude. He just if Genty he trucks get a hundred so yards, bad. and you get Holani in and out of the backfield, getting we could, you know fifty to eighty yards, and then you get McAllister and maybe some. The offense has a ton of it potential. Has, it does. It has. 
It we, does. We had 227 and, and rushing yards. And we're excited about 30 points, but my, man, 30 points isn't, I mean, it's good for the last two years, but, and I'm not complaining, but I think his offense has potential to average 35 plus, you know what I mean? So just missing that one piece under center. Yeah. I don't even know if we're missing it. We're just splitting it between we? two guys and neither one is getting a chance to roll. That's Can what you I think. actually say that now? I mean, neither yeah. guy's getting a chance to well, roll. No, no. Like, Both chances. Talon's had a lot of chances to roll. Yeah. I think, they, I think they want Talon they to want, be the guy. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah. They're pushing. Otherwise, well, he, wa- he wouldn't start. He would right. not start. No, I agree with that. And he was. He had a fumble and like... <laughs> I don't know, man. I just felt I feel bad for him. Yeah, what what I are you thinking if you're Taylor Green? He's he's obviously it seems like he's being the right being a good teammate and everything, but you have to be looking at your other options. What obviously. are his other options, dude? Tell uh, me. North North Texas, UTEP, College anywhere back Idaho. around home. Ouch, dude, that sucks. Dude, I'll tell you this. Would it shock is me? Is that better? If Co- what oh. if he Hold stayed on. and competed? Yeah, if he and was won the man, if he was the starter without at, at North Texas or Utah? Sure. Okay. All right. I mean, it depends. It depends. What would you rather be? As if you, in your mind and your family's mind, you are an you have an NFL potential. Not North Texas or Utah. Hold on. Just let me. You have an NFL potential. You're going to be at Boise State, <laughs> which he does, and you're going to be the t- you're going to be the twenty. You're going to come in here and run Wildcat for us. That's what it's trending towards. He's not going to stay here yeah, if his goal is where, the NFL. Well, then you got to go someplace that'll. Here's be where similar. he's going to go. Brian Harson is going to get hired at San Diego State. Taylor Green, who Brian Harson recruited to Boise Did he State, really? yep, yeah, signed with signed with is going to he's going to be go to San Diego State. Okay. Mark this time. Mark <laughs> it. We if this if there's no hot punishment, then yeah. this is it. Like I, if there's I, a I hot button, no, you should, have to. Can we just fast forward? You have punishment? to know that there will come a consequence. That doesn't happen. Like you're calling that out. That's yeah. pretty specific. Man. That's very specific. That's too specific for a hot punishment. <laughs> San Diego State. I just think that'll be a great spot for dude, him. Dude, San Diego It'd State's falling. Just listen to me. Oh, Wouldn't dude. Brian Harson do great? It's San Diego State. Listen. You should get muted. No, no, bro. What? I'm not going to listen to you anymore. <laughs> Hello? <Give me. laughs> no, tell me about it. Or tell, what do you think? San Diego uh, State. Look at what. If th- you're Brian Harson, do you want to be I in San Diego? To, absolutely. Mm. Dude, San Diego State should be the else. Mountain West champion option. every year. Mm. He's not going to get a Power 5 job right off the bat. He just. He just give, me, give me another option. Uh, For what? For where he's going to coach? Like, a, like, it would be a G5. That has to be one of the top Utah. five group of five programs. San Jose State should be dominating the Mountain West in football. He's going to be the North. Uh, they should. Why aren't? Yeah, they're not. Yeah, they I get should. it. They're why, not. Why should they? Brady Hoke sucks. <laughs> That's true. He's not Dude, good. Like, he hasn't he's done not good. Re- like no, they should. They should be the best in our conference. Because that they would be brand new stadium. Nevada, they're in right? San Diego. That would be wild Nevada. if he went there, dude. I, I think honestly he could. think that'd be I wild. I think that they would absolutely interview. I don't know if they're going to hire him, but he would, if they fire Hoke, which they should, but he has a big buyout. But what if, what if San Diego uh, state's open and Boise state's open? Bar, the, I, you think he'll come to Boise? State? I don't know they, that we want him. Even, I don't they, know that they want him. Yeah, I think, think there's so? too much baggage there. I think when he left, All right, how about this dude? people around the program. How about this? How about this? How about that? Go ahead. What? University of Idaho, Brian Harson. No. Why? Why not? University of Idaho? Where's X going to go? Huh? X going to come to Boise State. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, there you go. We got to swap swap. a room. Little coach swap. No, he's not going to Idaho. He's going to go to a a, a group of five teams. Who? (laughs) Carson. Why would he go to Idaho? Build it up. Build it up. He's got all the money he wants. No. What? Stop. Dude, what? why? So why do I have mute, to stop? Mute yourself why? right now. <laughs> self, okay, Matt. Self-mute. <laughs> why? But Dude, he, Idaho is his rival. Like, like, when he was a player. But it's Idaho. They I pay know. 140 they are no K. They pay, they're going to pay him 140 k in the Kippy Dome. <laughs> <laughs> the Kippy Dome. What? Dude, he was at Auburn. He's not you going think to he wants Idaho. To go, he wants to live in Moscow? <laughs> Does he Dude. want to live in Moscow? <laughs> Can I answer it? Answer it. Does his Come wife, on. Does his Why? wife he can live? fly oh, up yeah. there every day Kess, if he wanted Kess to. He's got stoked. all the money he wants. Kess is stoked. Dude, the Palouse is nice Dude, this Kess time of year. Oh no, gosh. you guys are it's snooty. You're snobby. You guys are losers. Okay, you're not opening your mind. Here's the deal. Could happen. What about College of be. Idaho? I mean, no. might as well say I, that. I think Brian Harson is legit well, who's candidate there? at San Diego State, and I think he could have success That would be difficult for me to accept. 
I'm going to be like, honest. you'd be jealous or you'd nah, be like, be, I oh, would be a tough. little like, Hey, that's not cool. That's bro. our guy. Yeah. That's like not cool. Go somewhere else. Start a, go ri- start a rivalry. Why couldn't you go to America? Why couldn't you go to Memphis? Why couldn't you go? Well, I'm, I'm just, he's a West Coast guy. He's had success That's true. here. He looked for Dude, he's got a lot of options of in Texas. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just telling you that I think that job is super appealing. That's a good point. Super appealing. That's a good point. And I do think they're going to fire Hoke. I mean, they lost to Nevada. Nevada had a 14-game losing streak. They didn't score a point, <laughs> dude, Not a point at home Ooh. in front and of ne- an empty house. And Nevada scored Six? Two, t- two field goals. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Yes. Six to two zero? zero. Dude, Dude, yeah. Dude, grab the backup free safety. Bring him down quarterback. Just do <laughs> it again. <laughs> do it again. Next man up. No, uh, I'm telling you, man. I think, and 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 I don't know if hard, I don't know, man, but it's, I don't, so, okay. Are Green and Madsen both on the roster next year? Mm. We might as well talk about it. I know it's, it, we don't care. Uh, they're no, not tell me the end right of the, now. tell me the end of this year and then I'll answer that. Um, the end of this year stays somewhat like it is now. It's, it's both of them are playing. We are what? Four and four. Yeah. Four and four. Let's say we, let's say six we, and six, six and six, or we go to, a, let's, we go to a bowl game there, but they're both playing, but let's say we win the championship and they're both playing. Do I want them both here? If that's the case. I don't you know. love the two QB system, bro. I do. There's I no, I'm gonna be honest. There's I do. no way they're do. going into next year. You don't even let me let me the answer the question. Go ahead. Well, you you're waffling well, around. Give me some the time. Answer. It's like well, you got some place to be. <laughs> yes, you're flip flopper. Like <laughs> Just kidding. Night. Mark's Mark's gonna go to Sherry's after this. Dude, Sherry's always open. I don't. <laughs> I honestly, th- if you're tailing green. Yeah. And and let's say you enter the transfer portal and you see your options and you think, I can do this. I can beat him out. Like I can become over the summer. I can work with quarterback gurus. I can I do my thing. Would have a I lot can be options. a better quarterback. I have you. Listen- I know, but just tell me the options. Have you dude? listened? To, okay, have you listened to Mike Sanford, who's like the quarterback guru, right? On on with the. Um, with BNN, right? Mike Sanford Jr. Mike Sanford. Well, he doesn't go by junior anymore, but Mike oh, Sanford. Why? Oh, is it? Why not? I don't know. He said he said he was never a junior, but his dad's Mike Sanford. Too. Oh, okay. Gotcha. He, dude, I've heard him say multiple times, like, I would love to get my hands on Taylor Green. Like, okay, I would but love. Everybody would. Everybody, everybody would. That's would. what I'm saying. He's going to have tons of options. That's why I'm saying that. Because every offensive coordinator would be like, oh, if I just had my, and whether they can do it or not, I don't know. But I just, I need to know so, the options. That's he would my have. Thing. Would Texas want him? No. Could he start at a Power Five? Could he start at any Power Five? Maybe like a Cal, you know. Like, but I think any Group of Five team, like outside of maybe a couple that have, I don't know the Group of Five teams a ton. I think he would have his choice of dozens of schools in the Group of Five level. Yeah, I guess lower the, level the only P5. reason I really would, do. The only reason he would stay here is if his playing time increased and they won a championship, and sure. he wants to build off that. That's Absolutely. the only reason he'll stay. Yes, I agree okay. with that. Then that's if that doesn't happen, then he's not staying. I, that's that's. But you know, if but if Matson's been doing pretty well, and you know, then is what it then is. Kind of like yeah, and and he's I don't, our four year starter. Too. He's true. He's a freshman. Yeah, is he a true freshman? And I or is he a redshirt freshman? Matson. Uh, Matson's a redshirt freshman. He redshirted last year. Yeah. I, you know, to some extent, you're like, man, Talon's not getting, but he's been in the program three years. They put him on the side of the stadium. You know what I mean? They, I mean, I remember when Hamden got hired and they were talking about, t- and he's like, yeah, that's knowing the personnel, having a guy like that. That's definitely, you know, you want to come to program. Like, I truly think going in this year or going into maybe before, like their intent was Taylor Green is our guy. I mean, they really yeah, did feel like feeling and good about something that. in practice and they, but it's changed. It's, it's absolutely 100%. changed. You I don't know. know. Which, are, is, which, is he? Are they both here? Why would Matson no, leave? They're not, Matson staying no I, matter what. I think Matt. I think Matson could start at a lot of power, uh, uh, Mountain know, West schools. What? Could he transfer to BYU? He could go to Wyoming. He could absolutely. He could. He could. He's from Utah. It would be like yeah. Fennigan, though. He could transfer to BYU and be third a backup. On, a backup. I, of course, they're going to lose Slovis, but is he going to be a Power Five starting quarterback? Probably not. I. Yeah, I mean, I think Talon's probably the one that leaves. If it stays the way it is, then the question is, is Matt's in the future? And maybe, I don't know. I mean, what if he, the dude got 80% of the reps like a normal starter does? <laughs> I don't know that I like freshman quarterbacks anymore. Can I just say that? 
Yeah, I mean, because it, it screws up, it screws up our, it screws up our recruiting cycle because nobody wants to come and yeah. wait yeah. three years, and so yeah. you recruit guys that you may but not. But no one sits anymore. Like you have to. Sorry, I cut you off, but I just I not that. Sorry. No one sits. No one sits that, and dude. waits. <laughs> no one sits and waits till I know junior. that. I know that. Do you know Maddox Madsen's middle name? What? No. No. What? How would we know that? Uh, the, do you not read the articles on Bronco Nation News? Did they say it? Yeah. Okay. What is it? Jeter. Oh, I did read that article. Jeter's because he was like, or is something, his something. Mom was birth. in the hospital during some World Series or something like yeah. that. World Series. Uh, yeah. Greg Maddox, Derek Jeter. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. They're big baseball fans. Yeah. I like, I don't know. I think at this point, I remember last year. Okay. I remember last year be having this, and I've, I kind of generally feel like this, like, oh, us, us fans, we only see a little portion. And I'm going to trust the coaches, right? <laughs> I generally feel that way. And I felt that way last year with Hank and Talon. And then, t- and then Hank left. And Talon was, it was so much better with, with Talon. And I'm like, well, man, maybe I can't always trust the coaches. That Ooh. said, I think it was more Ooh, dirt cutter. Yeah. But Dude, I don't but know. I, I think at this point we have they to based trust Hank, the coaches. They based Hank off of Florida State. Right, that that game bought him years of. You know what bought him? He was his, he was the sixth ranked quarterback coming out of high school. He yeah. was a high yeah. level recruit. You know the best and, thing that ever and happened. Now he's at Louisiana Tech. <laughs> you know the best thing ever happened to our offensive line. What? To our Tank offensive left? line, Tank leaving. Oh yeah, absolutely. Dude, because they were trash for years. He would get smashed. Yeah, but they've the never been smashed again. Yeah, <laughs> and now we're like, look at Madsen. He's not getting smashed. Getting Nobody's getting it's, it's touched. Not, is it Bedell or Hank? It's Hank. Because I heard a lot of Bedell. We hate. killed Bedell. Like I, but I like killed, I was I so Bedell happy too. when yeah. Bedell left. But as soon as as Hank soon as Hank left, left then problems the went problem away. What? What is that? Like, why is that? Like, is is he getting sacked at Louisiana Tech? I don't know. He got hurt. Yeah, he was out for a while. I don't know if he's still playing, but he was a high like level Hank. recruit. He he beat Florida State week one. Dude, Florida State. Dude, we had sucked, the highest. Too. They were the we worst. Had, do you remember that feeling though? We beat Florida State on the road it's with huge. a true freshman quarterback, we're and back. we were like, "Dude, we're back!" And we came back. We got it. it was made. A comeback. Yeah, he we, threw we for four hundred yards. We weren't back. He never threw for four hundred yards again. That was a false back. Dude, it was a fake out. He never threw four hundred yards again. again. Never again. And One I just remember time. thinking, like, dude, we have a true freshman quarterback. We are set. And it just never materialized. Uh, wow, and now we, dude, and now, brutal. dude, and it's just crazy though. Now we have Talon. He was the freshman of the year last year, not quarterback, but freshman of the year for the entire Mountain West. And now he's he's scrapping for playing time against a five nine dude from Utah. Are we quarter? Okay, here's the question. Are we as a program quarterback killers? Why would you say that? Well, go through it. We've got Hank, who had. No, go further back than Hank. Okay. Go back to Bart. Bart Go Hendricks. way back, dude. Yeah. Bart, you can't put Sparks? us like that. So I'm just Bart, asking the question. Bransky, I'm just asking. The Taylor we've Tharp. Quarterbacks. I'm just saying dude, that. I love Tharp. We had. Nice Tharp, guy. if you're out there, I love you. He's man. a nice guy. Rippin took guy. over the job for who? Who ended up in the NFL? Well, Finley. Finley. How many quarterbacks have we had drafted in the modern era? Don't ask that question. The answer is zero. Don't make me answer well, that question. And, and we tried to, to, to like... Put Finley on there? Because <laughs> he played for like half a year. I, for us. We, we should get he like Brock. Being an NFL quarterback. Can we claim Brock why, Purdy But too? why was Finley Yeah, Brock that? Purdy showed up for a visit, so that's but, one of ours. So Finley, <laughs> Finley and Drinkowitz, would Finley have done the same at BSU if Drinkowitz would have been there the whole time? I don't know. Because they were the same program. I'm just, up. Hank has so much You promise. can't say we're a quarterback killer. I know, killer I'm not saying we are. I'm just asking. And then TG. Southwick. All the momentum in the world. Oh, I don't know about that. Dude. Southwick. A hard take on Southwick. I told you that was like the turning point of our I program. I remember that. I remember that. But I don't, I don't know. It's just like you just – I think everyone still wants – I don't know why that is. Why Why does a, a lot of the fan, ba- fan base – why do we in our gut want – I'll answer that. Talon to be the guy. Oh. I thought you were going think different Because I 80% direction. of people want him to be Dude, the guy. Because look, he's freaking as tall as a basketball hoop. Yeah. Yeah. He could dunk the field I mean, why goal is post. it? Because I, in my like my core, I like want him to be the guy, even though statistically mad. Talk I want whoever's going to get the job done to be wait. the guy. So you don't care if it's you don't care who it is. Well, if you're well, out I there don't care who it and is you either. can't make you can't complete the pass, 
I know you're not the guy. But it's like you want him I know, to be the guy. I, it it makes sense because he's a he's athletic. Is that it? Gifted. And we've seen him running ninety yards down yeah. the field. And just, I mean, that's why because like, Colin Kaepernick. Just, yeah, and it's just like not. I guess it's not happening. I don't know. I, you you think he got pulled too soon? I don't know. I don't think he got pulled too he soon. Gone back he should have gone back in in the second half. He threw, besides he that one again. play, he didn't throw another pass. After yeah, him. I don't. He threw, he, he, but why take out Madsen? I mean, it's rolling. That's the problem. I think that's what <laughs> happened. Is is they put Madsen in and then he was rolling and it's like, well, we can't take. Yeah, him but out. you had time to put him back in that last drive of the fourth quarter. Why not? Yeah, I don't know. It's I mean, you weird, had time. Man. It's not like we were gonna. Well, we could have lost. It's <laughs> weird. Knowing our history, we uh. could have lost. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Can I read a comment? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, we're kind of doing it backwards. We oh. usually do yeah, comments. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, we got a comment from. Mark's mom. <laughs> yes. What do you pay your family to Dude, listen to this? They're or excited something? about it. They're excited about the right. podcast. Okay. You know, the I guess. Newfound fame with their you, son Do you here. grab your mom's phone Third and post son. on her phone? Dude, don't, dude, come on. <laughs> Did you do that, Mark? Is this, is this on YouTube? No. Is this on YouTube? This is on YouTube. This is a YouTube comment. Your mom knows how to get onto did YouTube. You? Okay. Full I disclosure. do not know. <laughs> she asked me how to get on YouTube and log in. Did you write the comment her. for her? No. Mm -mm. I haven't. I I, uh, I saw that she commented. I read through it like 10 days you ago. You should call but. Diane and verify that. Like, I legitimately don't. Okay. <laughs> it's my go. boy. Right now. It's go. my boy. She says she loves the podcast. Okay, though. obviously. The three of you sitting. Too many moms get on here and tell <laughs> us that. We, we, by the way, we do have comments that aren't moms. <laughs> do we though? Do, like legitimately, we, don't read any of them. What are you we about? do. We We got Myers. We got Justin K on Justin our last B. episode. K. Yeah, yeah. Dude, well, that's probably Justin, Diane one, Diane two, Justin Diane three. K backed me up. I was I was saying Avalos wasn't a you know uh, leader, and he's like, I agree with the lack of leadership. He was on my side. Yeah, Justin so, K, smart guy. Probably your mom's burner. Account, I don't dude. think it's Jordan K. <laughs> I don't, uh, brother. Anyway, I okay, so spelled wrong. Anyway. Okay, uh, so Mark's mom, here we go. What'd she say? Seeing the three of you <laughs> sitting there bantering back and forth just warms my mom's oh, heart. Get oh, get out of yeah. here. Why are we, <laughs> dude? Solid. You, dude, you guys have I'm a sorry. Crazy, like, the music? send us a text. Tends us a, send us a hey, text. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Okay, Brandon, no more muting my boy. Oh, my gosh. Said. Obviously, Mark <laughs> said that. Obviously, Mark oh. said that. Oh, Brandon got muted. He muted himself. We're good. This is the Crimea River, dude. <laughs> Crimea <laughs> River. We can't you know, if Diane it. chimes in again, <laughs> if Diane. No, this is not okay. royalty okay. free music. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Crimea River, Diane. Uh. Diane knows. Is it Diane? <laughs> okay. Don't. Don't. I love Diane. She's great. She's great. Diane. Uh, and she big. said. Uh, just so you know, I'm not throwing Minert under the bus. You wrote this, dude. There's no way Mark didn't write this. What did she say? And Go. And she said, Matt, good job keeping these two in line. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Good for you. Yes. Way good for you, Jerks. Matt. Yeah. So that's 25 years of. You know, I do remember. I do remember eating at Mark's house an incredible sandwich lunch meal. Who by, made by Diane? No, she provided it. Provided by Diane. Okay. Sponsored by Diane. <laughs> Brought to you in part by okay. Diane. We're talking um, powered by Diane. white potato bread. Oh, uh, she's that's still there. I guarantee okay. you. The same over there. Peanut yeah, butter, same <laughs> honey, peanut butter, honey on a plate, chili Fritos. Oh, <laughs> like a little salt and I sweet. Like I, I that still Inside brings sandwich? me back. No, just on the oh, side, okay. just boom, 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 boom. Still brings me back. Do you remember the protein Probably shakes with, we were drinking? Oh, those tasted so <laughs> bad back in the day. Me and Moss, Prote skinniest guys ever. She's still fairly <laughs> skinny. <laughs> trying to pound these protein shakes. <laughs> those tasted so What'd you guys, bad. Just garbage it was ones. So or? bad. Oh, dude, mm. protein shakes. They've come a long way, but yeah, oh, those were they were bad. All right. Look well, look in there. Yeah, we we took a little. Let me guess. There. Let me guess who's yeah, going to chime in next week. Stan, the man's going to chime I in. Think oh, leave my in. son I alone. Did, I, I think, think he did chime did. in. Uh, I don't have it pulled up, but okay. Uh, what else we got? I think Stan did. Uh, I'm going to have my mom chime in. But, yeah, oh, my mom. Where's Faye? I didn't grab her phone. <laughs> like you guys. <laughs> like you guys. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. I'm not like that. I don't stoop that low. Can you hack into her phone remotely? It doesn't post? take hacking. I just grab it. You I mean, just... my kids have it half the time. <laughs> Do we have any any conversations? Any any? Okay. Did anyone think we're crazy? What? Matt Myers. Okay. He says Moss has it right. Do, should we read this, Brandon? 
I don't know what right. it is about Moss. Sounds He's like, like you know, <laughs> how many people are you? Do you refer to Myers? Okay. Like, do you refer any <laughs> customers to him? <laughs> He's uh, like an oral surgeon. I don't refer anybody. I think so. <laughs> so good for him, by the way. That's yeah. cool. Myers. Uh, he he's in Oregon, by the way. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Moss has it right with Talon. I can't stand people saying Hamden isn't playing to Talon's strengths. He has to become a better passer in the pocket to get to the next level, but he isn't there yet. You can't just keep rolling him out side to side because it's too predictable. We That's couldn't true. move the ball the last three games of last year. Because once people had film on Taylor, yeah. it became evident that his ability to run a complex offense wasn't. You there. know, when Fresno I and the Matt Mount, 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 Mount was championship, when they took that away, they took it away and we were in trouble. And yeah. it was windy. And, it was and cold I think and the majority of the well. fan base thinks that. Yeah, you know, can can get on that train. I think if you if, yeah, if you just yeah. Yeah, it's know. hard to admit that sort of, but I because Taylor seems like such a good kid. Great you know, kid. You just want him to be great kid. successful, and I'm sure Mad Dog's great. Let's just I, I I'm I'm kind of at the point like do whatever you need to do, get to the Mountain West Championship if you can, and then figure it out later. It'll just be interesting to see if we lose this week or next week or whatever, We're and done. it's kind of like that's done. Then you kind of start having these conversations. Like right now, you're in the middle of the of the hunt. You're trying to win the championship. It's all about the team. But as soon as we're out of that. I think then it gets really interesting because now you're truly looking for next year. You're truly looking at the future. Is it CJ Tiller? Who's the third string? Is it Mad Dog? Is it? And I think that I don't. That'll be interesting. Hopefully, we don't have to do, talk about that next week. Hopefully, we're talking about another win. Hopefully. Did you yeah. see Mark brought it up? UNLV's loss oh, at Fresno State. I watched that. I, didn't I watched watch that one live. That was brutal. It was, that was so brutal. brutal. Walk us through it. What happened? Okay, it so bad. they're up ten at half. Who's up? Who's up? UNLV, UNLV. seventeen seven. Like that. They're both six and one, right? Yeah. Both teams. Are they related? Yeah. Well, UNLV, was UNLV has two losses. They've lost a. They but now, they were undefeated. UNLV is six and two now. They lost to yeah, Michigan. They were both six and they one. They only lost to Michigan, wow. and then they lost to Fresno. That's UNLV impressive. turned it over three times in the third quarter in their own side of the field. So Fresno had three short fields, three touchdowns in a row, right? You know, they're still in the game. They're down They're down 14. They score one. They get the ball back. They go down. Anyways, in the last five minutes, they get within the la- in the 10-yard line or within twice. Can't score. And in the last one, second down, throw it to a wide. I mean, from me wide and Brandon, open. wide open. Wide open. open. Drops it in the end zone. Drops it in game time. Game time touching. touchdown. Tough. Drops it. The very, very next play, there's, I think, five seconds, maybe enough time for two plays. They throw a pick. Mm. Game over. And uh, so Fresno, so because of that, Fresno's still alive. And Fresno this week, exact same position as us. They're, they're three and they're one. They're seven and one in seven overall. And one. That's crazy. And, and three and one in league. And uh, so it's it's this is an elimination game. I mean, statist- is it possible that either one of us could lose and still get there? It's possible, but it, it's like basically impossible. Yeah. So we, you know, we have to win this game. We could actually, we'd have a better chance of getting to the Mountain West Championship by losing to New Mexico or Utah State because right. of the, the tiebreaker no, situation. Head, head stuff. So we have to win this game. Do we know the betting line on we, Boy State Fresno? Uh, Fresno opened up as a three-point favorite. Which is the home field advantage? They say three points in college is so pretty much even. Pretty much even. What well, do you think? Is, is right. Fresno State a rival? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, how about this? Yep. Brian Harson goes to Fresno State. Where's Ted, Tedford I don't think going? Tedford, Tedford's dude? leaving. Nah, he's been coaching for a while. Yeah, he just he quit. Retired, I'd rather well, be at San Diego. Ago. Oh, San Diego I'd rather State's be at San Diego. Well, it's a way better place to live. And Dude, I just, just dissed a lot of people in front of Diane's going to get on there and be like, me, my son's right. My <laughs> son knows, the world. knows everything about San Diego Napa State. Valley. Oh, yeah, Everybody. Fresno. I hate Fresno. Everyone hates Fresno, though. <laughs> that's true. What are you that's talking true. about? That's true. That's true. <laughs> Even some people that live there. The, but hopefully. they have a better, yeah, that's true. Yeah, they have a better program right now, but that's because this, coaching or whatever. But, did, did you read the thing on Twitter saying, like, Fresno State isn't even the name of that should be. It's California Cal- State College of Fresno or something. <laughs> is that what like it that? is? Yes. Oh, okay. It's CSU like Cal Fresno. State Fresno or something yep, like that. That's true. Like Cal State Fullerton. This yeah. this game is a big game for Andy Avalos. Oh. It could be one of his big because if he wins and he plays well and they play well, it's like, ah, he could be the guy. Let's keep with him. 
could be enough. Yeah. Oh, Don't yeah. you think it could oh, buy yeah. you a it's, year's oh, yeah. worth so of... So much pressure is relieved when you win. Like, and it went well. The conversation we were having, like, no one is... It can flip. I mean, he's so close. It can flip. If we because go and lay an egg. When he wins, you start to believe what he said. I know. Like, we're almost I'm there. telling you. We have... We're, t- we're sitting here talking about the young guys playing. Yeah. We're taking his <laughs> That's what he's points. saying. Yes. But as soon as we lose, it's like, F you. Yeah, what dude. are you talking about? It is. You suck. Yeah. No, he's... This is a huge game. I mean, for him, for the, the I think it's huge. This is as big as they get. What I mean, they're all big the rest of the way. Fresno lost the week prior to UNLV. They lost to Wyoming at Wyoming a couple weeks ago. And then... It was. Oh, let me pull up their schedule. It was a few weeks ago. So they're not coming off a bye or anything. No, so no, no. no. They're here. coming off beating UNLV. I know, but... but um, how much does Fresno State hate Boise State? I, they a hate... Lot. I don't hate them at all. Yeah. Like I and I think that's a, that's similar to some other like. So, Nevada. but here's here's the teams they've played. They beat Arizona State. They killed Arizona State. Yeah. Twenty nine seven turnovers. Is that how many <laughs> they had? Yeah, Kent, they had their third string quarterback. Kent yeah. State, horrible. Nevada, horrible. Lost to Wyoming, horrible. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> lost to Wyoming. They beat Utah State by five points. I saw that game. They should they they could have lost that one easily. But yeah. UNLV. Yeah. Well, and they beat Purdue. Purdue's Purdue. garbage. Oh, I'm going way up. Purdue is yep. oh. But uh no, Fresno's Purdue. good. Purdue I don't and think Fresno's not a world beater. We can win. If we play the way that we're capable, if we can play somewhat close to what we did last week as far as just we can win that game. Oh, uh, don't mute my son. <laughs> I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna have we a five minute mute game. for Mark. Just <coughs> uh, I'm not sure we do. I don't okay, know. Okay, what's shows your prediction? Up. Did any of us Man. say we were going to lose against Wyoming? Like when we did the. I, I we don't know. We, gotta, we weren't here last week. So. No, but. Cue the tape on that. I don't know. Like, I don't remember. Weeks ago? When we made should our we play? Should we play? Should I? I'll find it. I'll find it. <laughs> I'll find it right now. <laughs> I don't I'll find oh. it right now. Sounds like a. I don't think yeah, we yeah, made like predictions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'll find it right now. We were planning on coming last week. I don't think we made predictions. We, yeah, we did. We did? Yeah. We had to have. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So, speaking of Fresno, I don't know. I think we could. I'll say we win. I'll say we win. Yeah. <laughs> Good things are happening. I, I mean, defense is playing stronger. Yeah. We didn't give up the deep ball. The like problem we have. is that so Wyoming's strengths and weaknesses. It was a good matchup for us. It was a good matchup. They don't throw the ball very. They don't well. throw the ball well at all, and we do a good job stopping the run. They lost, right? We hadn't lost to them ever. Give me a second. Brandon's digging. Give me a second. Okay. Should, I, should I keep talking? Yeah. This is probably something we should have worked out in our, our pre-planning <laughs> our pre, meeting. Pre-production. We, we, <laughs> pre-production meeting. Um, well, I lost my train of thought. Get that thing You're talking off. about Fresno. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. We we played Wyoming, and it was a perfect matchup because yeah, they it was don't a throw the ball. And, and so the, the matchup, Fresno isn't awesome, awesome throwing the ball, but they're probably the best in the Mountain West, probably. I think behind Colorado State. Dude, Tedford is good. He he's, always he's finds a, a way. He's the best coach in the league. He's he's going to be ready. And when we're questioning our coaching, and I continue to question our coaching, I don't care. I mean, our head coaching at least. Tedford is the better coach. There's no doubt in my mind. And I think he'll he'll be ready for us. I think we have better personnel, even though they're younger. I mean, he, he figured out how to block a kick in the uh, – Oh, stop it. Jeez. You stop that. Oh, man. Like you three stop times. That. Oh, my gosh. Horrible. That's brutal. They, you know, so I don't know. They'll be ready. They, they're not going to pull a Wyoming and just lay down. Oh, I just the They laid down. That's a, all the, you're doing. Yeah. We got it? And you're, the, you're the one. Holy three three and two. That's what oh, I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah three yeah, and two. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that's, okay. I'm going to say that. that's – I think, you, I think we picked those five touchdowns. This okay. is my holy three and two. That's what oh, I said. Here's yeah, my yeah, prediction. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that's, okay. I'm gonna say. Are you ready? That's if we lose to Wyoming by more than two touchdowns. <laughs> this happen. is my prediction. Oh and five. One and four. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't <laughs> feeling good Take about it. Are you sure, uh, buddy? I wasn't <laughs> feeling good about <laughs> it. <laughs> no, but you just. But I said yeah. if it Devastated didn't happen. Fashion, Wyoming, like if they come in and manhandle us, we're not winning. We're not winning anybody else. That's We're true. Not, it that's falls, true. I wasn't feeling like it, good. True. Anything that's holding it together right now is gone. This is our, bad. Our one this hope is, is that what Wyoming does really well, they're not like a air it out team. I just said this. Yeah. And neither is Air Force. My son so that knows gives everything. us hope in those two games. And New Mexico's just bad. 
But I mean, Wyoming, if they're going to beat us, it's going to be ground and pound. It's going to be defense, yeah, same with whatever. Force, too. They same cannot with do that. So that gives us a chance, whereas Fresno is going to air it out, and Utah the State's less, going to air it out. The less deep. That's, I still feel the same way. Yeah. It was a good matchup against Wyoming. It was a really good matchup, and we don't have the favorable matchup against Fresno. Yeah. But I'm gonna. But I liked how I liked it. I think I'm gonna say we're gonna win. Fresno, I think we're gonna win. Wyoming was tough because Wyoming was tough because they did they did nothing well. So it's like, oh, how good are we? Or how bad are yeah, we? I just have no idea. They only scored because we handed them the ball at the five-yard line. Yeah, that's also true. Dude, I was like, get Holani in there. <laughs> like get Cobb. We have not had any good punt returns at all with Cobbs in. Like, he usually lets it hit the ground. We haven't had a good return all year in either punt or kick. Also Where's true. Avery Williams? Get him back out Dude, there. Dude, he's the best. He, he was, was so probably good. the best we, we ever had. Yeah, we haven't had any. Uh, prediction, Matt Lamb. Are uh, we winning this win. game? We're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to win. So, Boise State. Yeah, I think we win by like 10. Wow. Okay. Okay. 34-24. Whoa. Yeah, why not? Good number, 37 You know, the thing about it I don't know. is UNLV. Was it at UNLV? No, it was in Fresno. Okay. Yeah. You, Fresno scored 24 points in the third, third quarter. quarter. Yeah. If they don't give up those three turnovers, yeah. they Crazy. lose that game. They only yeah. scored 37. So they're, yeah. they're, they're trending downward, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm. You could make an argument. They're trending downward. The teams Fresno? they played. The teams yeah. they played. They barely beat. They They're lost to be, Wyoming. It doesn't matter. This is a rivalry. Okay, game. I'm just saying. This momentum's important, ranked, right? At the, ah, they Fresno were. has been ranked, and then they this lost season, to Wyoming. Right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um. Oh. Oh gosh, dude. There's no reason I should pick Boise State, in my opinion. Why? Because I just don't believe. Dude, we gotta it. figure it out, man. Oh, stop it. Defenses. Firing on all cylinders. Oh, man. I don't 24, know. 24-17. Lower scoring game. But we're going to pull it out. 24-17. Doesn't go. I've been wrong pretty much every game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, there's no. And Diane Diane can quote me on that. <laughs> she, she's uh, got notes. <laughs> she can go back. She can go got, back. She's got note cards. Uh, she doesn't have notes. Mark has those <laughs> I notes. I give them to her. He yeah. feeds her the notes. I'm so, dude, can I say a tie? <laughs> Can I go that route? Like I don't know who's like gonna win. Soccer, like one one. Yeah, like we walk away as it goes like, to oh, penalty kicks. No, it's just a tie in regular season. Hmm. Uh, I really want them to play well and win. I don't trust them to do that. So I'm gonna. Say, why don't you think they will? That why would it's just they? inconsistent? Yeah, They're like why? Gonna, why would they? One game to the next isn't going to hold over. Uh, they they haven't done. They that. haven't proven it yet. They haven't proven that. They did a well in team. they did well in San Diego State enough to win. Enough to win. Yeah, San Diego State. They awful. did horrible in Colorado State. Uh, you know, At I like. End. I think we're going to score thirty five points because I like Bush Hamden. I like the two quarterback system, so we win. We're homers. <laughs> yeah, fifty five minutes in. That's my take did you put what we're gonna 24 do? 17 oh we're gonna go low this, score. it's gonna be such a completely different game i mean wyoming threw for 85 passing yeah, yards we're, it's, Total. it's gonna be a totally different yeah, test but I, sure. I don't but i'm not saying but fresno is not killing it right now and so who knows what team fresno is gonna show It'll, they could be well, the same team might, that played unlv or it could be the team that that throws it pretty good and then the team that Play defense Who against Colorado State for six minutes happen. and gave up 250 yards in six minutes. <laughs> Could show up. Yeah, but I who think, knows? I'd like to think we turned the, the page. Who knows? Can I, I give a quick shout out to JFR real quick? James Ferguson Reynolds. Dude, our best player. Anytime bro. he shows up. Dude, that guy's good. He's, He's never had a bad punt. No. He's this never had a bad has punt. Been awesome. Awesome. Is he on our team next year? How about year? that? How about that? <laughs> how about that legit early? question on that? How about one? that first field goal attempt? That was a hot mess. <laughs> what? Happened? I don't remember that. <laughs> what? There's a bad snap. Bad snap. And 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 kicks Dalmas kicks. Dalmas kind of. Oh, got I didn't see that. I didn't see that again. And it like went right into the line. Everything or was going bad. It was like the. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, wait. That in was, Wyoming, I was like, "Here we are again." What are you talking about? In the like, Wyoming game. Did you watch the game, dude? The, I'm gonna be honest. The game was. I was like getting thrown around all over the place, so I paused it and kept going back. It was to right it. when we were right in the middle of us doing the fumbles. We yeah. actually got a field goal, and it was the worst field goal. It was like a comedy of errors. Yeah, we didn't make the field goal. It didn't even get to the line. It, 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 it probably <laughs> hit the line of scrimmage. Who's and then the died. holder? Is it not? I think it's for JFR, Reynolds, isn't it? I don't know. Or is it? I don't know, but it was it was fast. Hey. Oh, you want to go? You want to see? Okay. Hey. Go Broncos! Oh, yeah. Sorry, well, go Broncos! I thought hey. we were out on that. If you're on YouTube, like.
like the video. Yeah, we, yeah. subscribe, man. Yeah. No, th- if we, you're related to us, give us your phone you, so we not, can hey, comment on your. <laughs> hey, if you're not related to us, comment. Myers. If you're related, text us. Myers. <laughs> <laughs> Just send a text. <laughs>